and throws, and it's incomplete. With Knox the target. Well, it has an opportunity. It's a it's a good idea. They go receivers to the left, and they've got Knox then working this angle with the back to that side. And he's worried about Sauce Gardner, who was coming off of that. But if you work that two-receiver route combination to that side, if you don't like what you've got there with Sauce Gardner, come under the back, and you pick up a, a, a pretty nice gain underneath. Both Knox and Kincaid to the right side of the formation. They hand to Cook. And he was met at the line of scrimmage by Quinnen Williams. Tireless on the inside for the Jets and coordinator Jeff Ulbrick. Yeah, he's just an absolute force inside. This defensive front has, has really been good. They've been as good as advertised coming in. Third down and 12. Allen slides, pass incomplete. Reed in coverage, digs the target, fourth down. That shows some of the quickness of D.J. Reed. This time, unlike the last drive, he's not able to get D.J. Reed turned. You see how he's able to then put his foot in the ground and drive back on the football. Not easy to do. Locked up out there one-on-one -on -one against a guy like Stephon Diggs. Sam Martin corrals the snap. It's a short punt. Gibson on the return. Near side. I don't see any flags. Gibson inside the 30. Hits the Jets, and he's going to go! Jets win it! Touchdown, rookie Xavier Gibson! Game over! for touchdowns in college has just The key block, Martin couldn't bring him down, and Gibson sets off the celebration. It's a great effort by Xavier Gibson in order to get out on the edge and then make something happen when initially it didn't look like there was a whole lot there. And then he makes a few people miss, which is what you got to do if you're going to have a big return like that. But what a great team victory all the way across for the New York Jets. Chaz Surratt. Delivering this block on Quentin Morris, and that was the big one. John Perry. Yeah, it is big, but you got to put an asterisk on it because there's a tripping call that was not made. A trip, a leg whip, right near the 23-yard line, number 55, which would have brought the touchdown back. We'll take another look. And Robert Sala on a night when he lost his 39-year-old quarterback just watched his special teams win the game, and here's Surratt. 55. Right there. Yep. Not called on the field, and it sprung Gibson really with the last important block, albeit with that leg whip. And it gets Xavier Gibson into the end zone with a tremendous effort on the punt return to win it. Let's send it down to Lisa Salters. Thank you, Joe. Xavier, take me 
you through that game-winning punt return? What, were, what was going through your mind when the ball was up in the air? I seen the ball in the air, and I seen I had a shot. I had Hardy and Bryce Hall on the ends. I trust them guys to my core, and I just seen the opportunity, and I just took it. Just what happened to this team emotionally when Aaron Rodgers went down? The energy had kind of got low. But once we came in here and uh, and uh, locked room, he didn't show no signs of disappointment, you know. He encouraged me. He just gave me a look. I looked him in his eyes, gave him a look. Then in my mind, I was thinking, like, let's win this game for A-Rod. You know, he worked hard. He worked hard all week. We, we all watch Chard Knox. We've seen your journey, you making this team. Just what does this moment mean to you? A lot. No, I didn't feel these guys. You know, I spoke to them about that in the locker room, and the uh, meeting room, and I said, I'm going to go hard just for them, not for me. So it was personal. Congratulations. Thank you. When he found out he made the team, he called his mom. She was getting an oil change. And it was the best phone call that she's ever received for Xavier. Undrafted, Stephen F. Austin forced his way onto the team with a great camp, good on special teams. And this is just some ending here tonight. You never know who the hero is going to be. Quinn and Williams was all over the place, made 11 tackles. Don't forget the catch on the touchdown. The game-tying effort by Garrett Wilson and one-handed effort, just unreal. Don't miss week two and two Monday Night Football games next week. Saints and Panthers, Browns, Steelers.